we now discuss the solution of a problem which is based on the concepts of local maximum and local minimum of a given function and uh, this question is from the section differential calculus this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 27th june 2022 in the second shift the given question is if m and n respectively are the number of local maximum and local minimum points of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to x square of the function t square minus 5t plus 4 whole by 2, 2 plus e power t dt then the ordered pair m comma n is equal to we are given four options option a 3 comma 2 option b 2 comma 3 option c 2 comma 2 option d 3 comma 4 we are given a function f of x defined like this and uh, it is given m and n are respectively the number of local maximum and local minimum points of this function then required to find the ordered pair m comma n is equal to that is the given question to us we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the given function f of x is equal to integral 0 to x square of the function t square minus 5t plus 4 by 2 plus e power t with respect to t. Note down the limits of the integral are functions of x. The upper limit function is x square, the lower limit function is 0. And uh, now let us suppose g of x is equal to x square minus 5x plus 4 by 2 plus e power x who is g, g of x the integrand then your given function f of x is integral 0 to x square g of t dt to talk about the local maximum and local minimum points of a function we require to differentiate the function f of x that means we have to first we have to find out the first derivative of f of x. To differentiate this one, we use Newton Leibniz formula. Why we use this formula? Because these are the, the limits of the integral are not uh, constants, are not, are not numbers, but they instead they are functions of x. So we use such a formula. So we recall Leibniz theorem or in other words called Newton Leibniz formula and that will be d by dx of integral phi x to psi x of ft dt is equal to f of the upper function psi of x multiplied by the derivative of upper function minus f of the lower function phi of x multiplied by the derivative of the lower function. Here the upper function is x square, the lower function is 0. So we will get by Newton Leibniz formula f prime x is equal to g g of the upper function x square into derivative of x square minus g of the lower function is 0 multiplied by the, the derivative of the 0. So this is this all the whole thing is 0 d by dx is of 0 is 0. So this will be g of x square is x square whole square minus 5x square plus 4 by 2 plus e power x square. So this is what we get and this one is 0 and uh, d by dx of x square is 2x. When multiplied you will get a 2x into in the numerator x power 4 minus 5x square plus 4 by 2 plus e power x square. We factorize the numerator and that is a 2x into x square minus 1 into x square minus 4 by the denominator as it is. Agreed. 
we further you know write down its product as factors so that will be equal to 2x into x minus 1 into x plus 1 x minus 2 into x plus 2 by the denominator as it is so now if we put f prime x is equal to 0 we get the critical points so the critical points are given by f prime x is equal to 0 then x will be equal to minus 2 minus 1 1 and 0 2 so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so these are the five critical points we got it we continue the discussion in the next slide yeah the, here is a, your derivative first derivative as the product of the factors and note down the denominator is always positive is always positive it is not equal to 0 and it is always positive that means 2 plus e power x square is greater than 0 for all x that belongs to the real real numbers agreed so so that is the real number line minus infinity to plus infinity and uh, the critical points are plotted here agreed now to talk about uh, you know local maximum local minimum one method is how what is the what is what is the sign of f prime x and uh, accordingly we talk about the increasing and decreasing nature of the function f of x in that interval in that interval so now we take a interval in the first column a convenient point x not in this interval and the factors are x minus 2 into x minus 1 into 2x into x plus 1 into x plus 2 then the product will be f prime x then it's a sign we will get depending on this sign we write down fx is increasing or decreasing agreed and we need not worry about the denominator the denominator is always positive therefore there is no need of considering that one as far as the sign is concerned agreed interval the first interval is from left minus infinity to minus 2 so here minus infinity to minus 2 take a convenient point minus 2.5 so if you take x naught is minus 2 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 2 is negative minus 2.5 minus 1 is negative 2 into minus 2.5 is negative minus 2.5 plus 1 is negative minus 2.5 plus 2 is negative thus all the five factors are negative five negatives multiplied will give you a negative so f prime x is negative when f prime x is neg negative then fx is uh, fx is decreasing in this interval in the interval minus infinity to minus 2 so right minus infinity to minus 2 the point my the, some convenient point i have taken minus 2.5 and uh, as i discussed this in this x this factor is negative 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 all the five factors are negative the product of five factors then that means five negatives will be negative f prime x is negative therefore fx is decreasing let's get into it so minus infinity to minus 2 in this interval it is negative and uh, fx is decreasing agree agree next go to the next interval minus 2 to minus 1 minus 2 to minus 1 minus 2 to minus 1 the convenient point we have taken is minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 2 negative minus 1.5 minus 1 negative 2 into minus 1.5 negative minus 1.5 plus 1 is a negative minus 1.5 plus 2 is positive so what happened 4 negatives 1 positive 4 negatives when multiplied will be positive f prime x is positive therefore fx is increasing so in in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 what is happening the sign of f prime x is positive that is positive therefore it is increasing in this interval and next minus 1 to 0 the convenient point what we have taken is minus 0 0.5 and we have discussed and we got three negatives and two positives and it will be negative three negatives means negative 
so f prime x is negative so if f x is decreasing here for minus 1 to 0 the, it is a negative in this interval and uh, it is decreasing it is decreasing in 0 to 1 we take the convenient point 0 0.5 and discuss and then we get uh, two negatives and three positives and uh, two negatives multiplied uh, positive therefore fx is increasing so it's positive and it is increasing and uh, 1 to 2 1 to 2 the convenient point is 1.5 1.5 we get uh, one negative and uh, four positives then it will be negative the prime x is negative fx is decreasing so here it is negative and it is decreasing decreasing right in 2 to infinity obviously 2 to infinity if you take a, a point a point bigger than greater than 2.5 and in every in in the in the, in the every factor the sign will be positive so 2 to infinity 2.5 2.5 minus 2 positive 2.5 minus 1 positive 2 into 2.5 positive 2.5 plus 1 positive 2.5 plus 2 positive so all all are positive when multiplied it is positive a prime x is positive therefore fx is increasing it is positive it's positive and it is increasing agreed so that is the status that is the status and now it's very easy to say how many local maximum points are there how many local minimum points are there so we see we see this fx attains local maximum at minus one and one this is minus one and one so and small m is the number of local maximum points so m is equal to 2 and the local minimum is attained at x is equal to minus 2 0 plus 2 so therefore n is equal to number of local minimum points is 3 and required to find the ordered pair m comma n that will be equal to 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 so let's get into the options in the options our answer 2 comma 3 appears against option b therefore the answer for this question is option b so that is the detailed discussion of the solution of a problem which is based on the concepts of local maximum and local minimum of a given function and the question is from the section differential calculus I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.